Right now we are staying on top of a developing situation in Northern California. A person is in custody after breaking into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's home and attacking her husband with a hammer. It happened early this morning at the Pelosi residence in San Francisco. A media briefing wrapped up just a short time ago. CBS 8's Chris Grow was listening in. What did we learn? Unfortunately, though, we didn't see any questions asked by that local and national media that had assembled up there in San Francisco. We did get some details, though. It isn't much, but we do know the name of the person taken into custody. Police have ID 42 year old David DePepe as the suspect. Now, this is what we're told. We're told that DePepe attacked Paul Pelosi with a hammer actually in front of officers. Now they were there because they responded to the home after a call for a well being check. We're also just learning that the intruder shouted, where is Nancy? during the break in. Now this all happened very early in the morning at the Pelosi residence that you're seeing right there in San Francisco. We're told that police actually responded around 227 AM our time. Now a spokesperson for Speaker Pelosi says she was not home at the time. We're told that Paul Pelosi is being treated by doctors for bruising, severe swelling and other injuries. No word on a motive for the attack, but CNN is reporting that the attacker posted multiple conspiracy theories about January 6th. COVID and a host of videos from my pillow founder Mike Lindell. Now we just heard from San Francisco police. So again, take a listen to the narrative uh, that they are uh, kind of summarizing here in this media briefing. Take a listen. When the officers arrived on scene, they encountered an adult male and Mr. Pelosi's husband, Paul. Our officers observed Mr. Pelosi and the suspect both holding a hammer. The suspect pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently assaulted him with it. Our officers immediately tackled the suspect, disarmed him, took him into custody, requested emergency backup, and rendered medical aid. Now, obviously, this is still very early, even though the attack happened and the officers responded so early in the morning, several hours now later, but we're still waiting for a lot of details on this investigation. Also, the scenario surrounding this attack. We're going to continue to follow this story as it develops, including more information that a lot of people are wanting to know the answers to the questions of the suspect, uh, more about the motive as well as Pelosi's status. We're going to send things back to you, though.